Здравствуйте! In this video we are going to discuss родительный падеж, genitive case. So I would like you to take a minute and look at the sentences written on the slide. So just take a minute, read the sentences, see what you can notice and what kind of conclusions can you build based on that. So hopefully you've noticed that on the left hand side we have sentences that mean I have in English. In Russian we use the structure у меня есть. Sometimes есть is skipped. У меня есть and a whole bunch of examples. On the right hand side we have sentences that are equivalent to the English I don't have. У меня нет. So comparing these sentences I'm hoping that you've noticed that the minute есть changed to нет, some changes occurred in the sentences. У меня есть брат, у меня нет брата. У меня есть телефон, у меня нет телефона. У меня есть дом, у меня нет дома. У меня есть телевизор, у меня нет телевизора. У меня есть учебник, у меня нет учебника. У меня есть окно, у меня нет окна. У меня есть зеркало, у меня нет зеркала. Mirror. Uh, so hopefully you see that the minutes were changed есть to нет. All of these words that used to be in this sentence, they, they are in nominative case, no change from the dictionary. All of these words added are ending. Went from есть to, to нет. And now the words have I ending. So now take another minute and look at these sentences and tell me what you see. So hopefully you've noticed that the beginning is the same as before. I have, I don't have. But now the words do not have I ending. They have U ending. And of course, my next question is why? Why did we have these words that were nominative case on the left hand side add a ending? So here they added a and the last two words went from o to a. And now we dropped a that we did have and we went to u. Why? And I'm hoping that you're thinking of the gender of these nouns because on the first slide we had masculine words ending in a consonant brat, telephone, dom, televisor, ucebnik 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so these five words are masculine they added a uh, these two words are neuter and they dropped their o ending and went to a uh. so masculine and neuter words changed to uh, change the ending to a. Now here we have a ending that signals feminine gender of nouns and feminine words drop their a ending and went to u. So here are the rules. Genitive case is used every time the sentence has the word net in it. So all of these changes were triggered by us changing the word есть to нет because нет is present in all of these sentences. That's why we're making the changes. Only the word that names the missing person or thing is in genitive case. It's not the whole sentence, just those words that represent things or people that are absent. If that word is masculine and neuter, like on the first slide, the new ending is a. If that word is feminine, the new ending is u. For example, I don't have a cat. I don't have, у меня нет, cat, let's use кот. Кот is a masculine word, we're gonna add a. У меня нет кота. I don't have a room. I don't have, у меня нет, room комната, feminine noun, we're gonna have the ending instead of a. У меня нет комнаты. I wish I could stop here, but there are exceptions. We'll talk about them in the next video. До свидания.